children, welcome to Sunday School with Mrs. Aboro. Today is Palm Sunday. This means we are entering the Holy Week. Oh, Easter is around the corner. Uh huh. Yes, Holy Week is a special time in the church, a period of seven days that um, gives us a whole week of special things to remember about the last days in the life of Jesus. Children, the Holy Week or the Passion Week begins with Palm Sunday, okay? Yes, and the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, where the people were singing, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to the Son of David. Yes, it's on this day, the Palm Sunday, and Jesus' entry into Jerusalem, riding on a donkey. Um, this was in fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies in Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9, that says, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion, shall out aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you, righteous and having salvation, humble and mounted on a donkey. This was a prophecy by Zechariah. But you know what, children? This king Jesus didn't come to be famous. Uh-uh. He came to serve and to lay down his life. Now, after this triumphal entry into Jerusalem, Jesus encountered some challenges. The Gospel of Matthew recorded that Jesus went into the temple and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He was angry at their actions, telling them that God's house is a place of prayer and not for buying and selling. The blind and the lame came to Jesus and Jesus healed them. But you know what, children? The chief priests and scribes were not happy. They were displeased with what Jesus did. And so they planned, they plotted, they plotted to kill Jesus. The story begins. Now on Holy Monday and Holy Tuesday, Jesus spent time with his disciples. We are talking about the Holy Week, the days of the Holy Week. Okay, Jesus spent time with his um, disciples on Holy Monday and Holy Tuesday. He was at the home of Simon when a woman came in and poured an alabaster box of, um, of expensive perfume on Jesus. And the disciples thought it was a waste, for this could have been sold and the money given to the poor. But Jesus told them that the poor will always be with them, but this had to be done by this woman. And from there, Judas Iscariot left for the home of the chief priests. Judas left them and went to the home of the chief priest. And so on Holy Wednesday, called Spy Wednesday, you know, a spy is someone that gives information, okay, about people, yes, to the enemy, <laughs> okay? So Judas acted um, as a spy for the enemy, the, the chief priest and the scribes. And so that's why it's called Spy Wednesday. Now, Jesus, Judas went to the chief priest and asked what will be given him. If he delivered Jesus to them. And what did they give him? 30 pieces of silver. How sad. And he left them. Then on Holy Thursday, children, we recall the event of the Last Supper of Jesus with his apostles. It is called Monday Thursday because Jesus mandated or Jesus commanded his apostles to love one another. He gave them that command on that day. Love one another. By this, the world will know that you are my apostles. Jesus gave them that command. You must love each other. It is also on this Holy Thursday that the Holy Eucharist and the priesthood were established. Okay? Remember, Jesus told them, take and eat. It was the feast of the Passover. So um, there was bread there and wine. And Jesus told them, take this bread, eat it. It is my body. He also gave them the wine, take and drink. It is the blood of the covenant. Okay, this is the Holy Eucharist, the institution of the Holy Eucharist and the priesthood because Jesus washed the feet of his apostles. This way he told them that he has come to serve and they too must serve. Now, when your church is on Thursday, Holy Thursday, you will see the priest wash the feet of 12 parishioners. Yes, on Holy Thursday. So on Holy Thursday, there is a mandate. 
a meal, the mandate is for us to love one another, a meal, the institution of the Holy Eucharist, and the ministry, that is the priesthood for us to serve. Remember that we are kings and priests. We are called to serve. After this, Jesus was arrested. Judas Iscariot found the opportunity and he betrayed Jesus with a kiss and Jesus was taken away. Then on Good Friday, Holy Friday, Jesus was tried, crucified, and he died on the cross. He was first brought before the Sahindrin for questioning. The Sahindrin is like a, an assembly of people, okay, in the courts, okay? Yes, um, and so Jesus was brought there for questioning. He was also taken before Pilate. But um, Pilate would rather not have anything to do with the Jewish wahala, the Jewish drama. <laughs> but the crowd demanded that Jesus be killed. And so Jesus was flogged and handed over to the soldiers who mocked and beat him. He was given a cross to carry, but Simon of Cyrene helped in the carrying of the cross to Golgotha. There he was nailed to the cross and Jesus cried out to God, his father. Thereafter, he died. And Joseph of Arimathea prepared his body and embalmed it for burial. And Jesus was laid in the tomb on Holy Thursday. Jesus' body was laid in the tomb, but it was guarded by Roman soldiers. They were afraid that some people may come to take the Jesus, uh, body of Jesus. But that did not stop what happened thereafter. You know, Jesus rose again on the third day. But that's a story for Easter Sunday, okay? Yes, children. Jesus paid the penalty for sin by offering the perfect and spotless sacrifice. And everywhere was dark, people wailing and waiting in grief. But then, Easter Sunday comes in hope. Amen. What a story. It's a story of love. Jesus came out of love. Let us take our memory verse. It is from Philippians. I like this verse. It says, He humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on the cross. Who was he? Jesus. Jesus humbled himself and became obedient to the cross to death, even death on the cross. Let us pray. Position for prayer. Dear Father, thank you for your love for me. Oh, yes. You sent Jesus, your son, to pay the price for my sin. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We come to the end of today's Sunday School on the Holy Week. Jesus loves you and he cares for you. Till next Sunday, it is bye from Mrs. Aboro. God bless you. Happy Palm Sunday and happy Passion Week. <laughs>